Hi guys, it's Tara Scott from Revitalize. Today I am talking about PCOS and specifically metabolic syndrome. So the issue is that if you have metabolic syndrome, you have a markedly more increased risk of heart disease even if you're pre-menopausal. So this is why it's really, really important if you have PCOS to make sure that you are getting the proper evaluation for metabolic syndrome. So there's basically four criteria for metabolic syndrome. One is that your waist circumference is above 29 inches. So that is something that's very easy done with a measuring tape. Two is that your blood pressure is high. So that's easily done with a blood pressure cuff. Three is that your happy cholesterol, I've heard it called, or your HDL is low and your triglycerides are high, and generally your LDL, which is your bad cholesterol, is also high. So low good cholesterol, high bad cholesterol, and high triglycerides. And then also an elevated fasting glucose. So if you have all of those issues, that means you have metabolic syndrome. And here's the problem, even if you're young, that markedly increases your risk of uh, not well yes diabetes but also heart disease so what do we do about that well we like to attack it in a natural way we do a thorough evaluation of your diet so what diet is the best there are some people that have had some improvement from a ketogenic diet but the other thing that is, has been showed in, in studies is the paleo diet is also good as a low carb diet. But now with the keto, that wasn't included in the study. And so that's also something that is very helpful. But in general, it's gotta be a low carb diet. The other thing, one of the quickest thing to decrease your fasting insulin is the fasting mimicking diet, which we've talked about a lot, or just intermittent fasting. Those are all things that can help. So once you, use dietary changes, there are other supplements that we may prescribe to help your insulin. Now, traditional therapy will tell you to take metformin. That's got its own other issues and we could, and have I prescribed that? Yes, but it does deplete your B vitamins. It has a lot of GI side effects. Some people do well with it. Some people provide a more natural approach and B12 is depleted when you take metformin. So for those patients, we might prescribe what a sugar supplement that has something like vanadium, chromium, alpha lipoic acid, uh, sometimes it's green tea, gymnana. There's lots of supplements that can help your sugar. Berberine is another one that's really good. So there are a lot of options if you have metabolic syndrome, certainly a good diet and exercise plan, and we would have them work with our health coach Beth. But the problem is, is you have to make sure that your doctor is checking for this, because it could be that you're overweight, but maybe you're not even that overweight and you have metabolic syndrome. So we need to make sure that you don't have that and you get treatment if you do.